is right next to our accommodation in the shepherd's hut and literally we just drove through the little town and the lady lovely lady in the shop told us to go the road opposite and we ended up here and i believe this is the three peaks Got a steep. So I think road go down. Yeah, definitely down. Oh my god, it is beautiful. Maybe that is cafe, but I'm not sure that's Oh yeah, road. it looks like it. Yeah. But like I said, if we go down, we can go down tomorrow. Because yeah. today it's almost the end of the day, mm -hmm. so we should go up. But how? <laughs> I think go back and go up that path you saw. Because uh Beautiful. I think everywhere is the oh yeah the islands. Apparently somewhere you can see Ireland from oh, here. Ireland. It's over there. Oh the, the other side. side. Oh my god, this is stunning! What the hell I love my Welsh heritage. I'm very proud to be Welsh. <laughs> Beautiful. I think we can go. If you live here, you'd have to learn to speak Welsh. Look at the views everywhere, behind me, in front of me, on the side of me. I can't choose where to video. But yeah, the hills are pretty steep, but on this side, it's really warm and hot. On the other side, in the shepherd's hut where we're staying, it's very windy actually. But uh, yeah, right now, the sun is setting but it's still very very hot so we're gonna walk up this hill before it starts to get dark and uh, see what views we get to see at the top and already I'm just taken aback by the stunning view so uh, God knows what I'm gonna see up there I'm just gonna probably like faint of the beauty Now it's starting to get a little bit more tricky. Offbeat road. So yeah, not for the faint hearted. Rocky, rocky and steep, but well worth it. Oh, can't stop showing you the same view. I'm sure we don't even need to buy it. Maybe it's just free to whoever wants it. Yeah, well, if we lived here, we'd have to carry the shopping bags up the steep hill every day. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wow. I'm not scared. 
get a pint, but... a hole have a few sheep out here keep us company perfect so we will go to top or not yeah well we're nearly there now Let's we go. might as well and then you might catch me falling to my death uh, maybe <laughs> Let's go, you can do it. Don't give up. Yeah. Oops. I just hope when I'm wet, I'll be careful. I just hope the stone might be large enough. Well, you definitely can't do this if you're scared of heights, that's for sure. I don't understand how you can climb up here, but like you're scared to go in a cable car. <laughs> Because that is earth, baby. That's earth. Earth. Yeah, I the earth is like this, look. No. <laughs> no. I feel stable here. got up the peak I want to get up there too to see what's up there so I'll see you guys soon but uh, yeah there's no exact path here it's all bushiness and rocks underneath the bushes uh, yeah doable obviously but uh, you gotta kind of weave your way around oops and definitely a heart video all the way because I need to keep my eyes on the ground and as I might trip over and fall and break my neck what a wonderful place to die. I would not mind dying here at all. And right now I am so close to the sheep. Oh, they're running away. But I'm literally just a meter or two from the sheep. Hey, wave! <laughs> What's it like up there? What's it like up there? Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. So now we're at the peak and we have to kind of make our way down because we want to go to this peak up there, but we're going to drive up that one, try and find a driving path. So I've got to catch up with the picture and I'm just going to be showing you from up here. But of course it's a hundred times better in real life. And a sheep over there, sheep grazing in the fields here. Yeah. <sighs> Just stunning. I do not want to leave, but I have to go. I know I'm kind of wasting my time now, but to be honest, I just couldn't resist to film these because, like, you know, we have buttercups where I live, but these are like tiny little baby buttercups, which I've never seen before growing on the mountain. And there's loads of lovely, like, mountain plants, to be honest, and there's like these little purple flowers. Can't get a good one. But yeah, the greenery, even the grass is like really nice. So right now I'm on the easy part of the walk down of the mountain 
and I just wanted to tell you about the QR codes. So the lovely lady in the shop was telling me that, um, well, that, well, firstly, they're the only shop in that village because all the other shops have closed down. Apparently, it used to be a very bustling part of, uh, very bustling mountain town. But um, since the quarry closed, everyone's moved out and there are literally like lots of houses for sale that we've gone past. And the QR codes uh, are outside every building. And if you scan them, it tells you exactly what those buildings used to be because a lot of them have been refurbished now and um, basically, uh, yeah, changed and updated. So they've lost their old um, character. So these QR codes will also show you pictures of what the building used to be and also um, how they used to look. So yeah, I find that really interesting and that's on nearly all the buildings she was saying so I'm very impressed with that how they've kept the heritage that way so yeah I've got a leaflet that I will take pictures of and show you as well but yeah lordy lord we've made it we've made it don't roll down the rest of the way if I've made it that far this is the easy part I'll roll very fast well, you know, you're my hero, so you have to save me somehow. You'll have to come down with me. <laughs> oh, beautiful postcard picture that is. So, we made it. We will come down to the beach tomorrow. And now we are trying to get up this steep hill back to the entrance to this peak. Oh, this one, this one. I thought you were going to go on that one. Okay, okay, this one looks better. I just hope the tyre doesn't burst. Oh, God, well, if it does, we haven't got a spare. And I don't think the RAC are going to come here. <laughs> But this is like Bulgaria. I remember doing this in Bulgaria. But we had a bigger car though, but I mean, you know. Ditchy, all the things, big stones. Then you know what? 
we rate Kia car. This is just a Kia Picanto, so. Oh, jeez. Can you hear that? This thing is a very big Kia. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. If we survive this trip up and down, Kias are the best. Definitely. Yeah? Just no rush. Well, you've been on the mountains many times in Bulgaria, you know how it is, so you're saying that we definitely make it back up and down. <laughs> yeah. And in the Kia! We love Kias. Yeah, well, we're gonna go up here because now it goes back down, so we're gonna go up and see what's up here. I'll see how far we Yeah, I reckon we can go all the way. No one lives here and it's a perfect house, it's a perfect shell, it's got a full roof. We just need to fit the windows and the door. Oh my god, we need to move in. Oh my god. I'm going to take a proper picture of that when we get out. <sighs> Amazing. Look, there's stairs going up. Oh yeah, it's closed up the top. Yeah, this is it. So, we're not sure what building that is, but whoops, whoa, tripped. But yeah, we know the view is stunning from here, and there's a little house which I want to live in. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, the path to what? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it goes down, down, down to the beach. There is the people. You can see. Where? Over there. I can't see the people. Is that people? Yeah, I think. They move. Yeah, we reckon over there is Ireland, the country. Because we're very close to Ireland. And that is Snowdonia. Snowdonia, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Snowdonia in the background. Yeah. Wow. So we've just driven two seconds down the road. And we're going to follow this little path up to the house. <laughs> we drove from there. So, let's go into our future house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's in good condition. I'm not sure that is safety. <laughs> you can refurbish that. It's got two rooms yeah, as well. See? Oh, do you reckon it's it might fall down yeah, on us? Yeah, it's still rusty. Well, anyway, go carefully then. There's a little fireplace in here. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think they're metal beams. Yeah, metal beams, but they are so rusty. Look, and we have a nice view from each window. And they put the... Beautiful. We've got an indoor plant. Yeah, that's big enough. Like I said, toilet is the nature. And that's that'll be our view from our window. This will be like the living room. Bedroom over there. Yeah, man. Oh my God, that's our house. <laughs> yeah. See, we've even got two other buildings. Well, we can do other stuff in. Yeah. Now that would be the sheep house. And you can walk up there. We've seen a couple of people almost at the summit up there. So yeah, 
that's a walking path up there as well right on the doorstep we have a walking path there's no gate there but obviously you can't drive up there but yeah anyway it's one hour probably before sundown so we don't want to risk it and come back in the dark so not today but it would have been nice